Hey guys, my name is William and in today's video we're going to be going over a local cell phone repair company's SEO. Local cell phone repair company SEO. Hey guys, my name is William and once again we're going to be going over cell phone repair company's SEO. If you would like for me to edit your website just comment below. And I'll gladly do that for you if you have any questions, comment below. As well as if you like my standard operating sheet regarding local SEO, comment below and I'll get that over to you guys. But let's go ahead and dive right in. We have a local cell phone repair company. And, you know, overall, if you look at the site, I've actually dealt with the, you know, cell phone repair companies for local SEO. And honestly, it is a spamming inch. It's tougher to rank in than most people would think. Um, as far as your website and everything, if I was to judge it, I would tell you step one, get a new website, right? It's not the best looking site. It's definitely not going to quote unquote, it may beat your competition, but you want something that looks a little bit better than this. Okay. That being said, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you as far as your on-page SEO, technical SEO, and all that jazz. Give me one second. I'll pull up your audit for you real quick. So let's go ahead and pull it up. As far as your technical SEO, right? I use all in one SEO Power Suite. It's a real quick SEO audit. You only have 188 issues. Believe it or not, that's not many. Uh, most people have thousands. Um, that being said, you still have nine errors you need to take care of. This would take me about an hour to fix. You have some 302 redirects. You have some dynamic URLs. You have duplicate titles, empty meta descriptions. Um, real basic stuff to get fixed, empty alt text. Alt text is basically when I look at an image, do I see that it is, let's say, um, cell phone repair company, right? Or when I look at an image, is it saying something totally different? And I'll give you some examples of that. If I was to open this image in a new tab, what is it called? It is called RSW124S2 blah, 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 and has nothing to do with the keywords you're trying to get ranked for. Number, okay. Now, if we look at the page source on this, I'm going to almost guarantee you this is not a WordPress website, okay? So I would personally rebuild this website, make it look pretty. If you want to see the type of websites we build, just go to rankfortress.com, look at my samples. If you would like some, see some more samples, I'll get those over to you as well. We build websites for $350. I do have one for $175, okay? That being said, you definitely need a new website. Now, if we go over to, you know, besides the SEO, just get a better looking website, right? Your average ranking position is 14, right? Almost 15. You have your title for your actual GMB completely stuffed, which if I look at it, I'm like, what do you actually do, right? But what I want to do is look at what are other companies doing there trying to rank for cell phone repair? And if I want to beat Sensi's and if I want to beat the cell phone doctor, what do I need to do? So I go over to their website and I'll just simply look at their website. You know, I simply look at, okay, what's their GMB title? Are they responding to their reviews? Am I responding to my reviews? Right? Stuff like this. Let's go back over to the um, Sensi's and let's go to Cell Phone Doctor. Um, not Cell Phone Doctor, but Sensi's. And we want to look at this one too. We just look at the top two people and go, okay, what are they doing that I'm not doing? Um, you know, and I can tell from the get-go, really, that this is going to be an easier niche in Cincinnati to get ranked. It's not going to be as complicated. Um, mainly, you know, just based off of the type of websites and their structure and everything. Um, it would take me three months to get them ranked up here, but... Ultimately, what you want to do, you find a website and you go, okay, I would really like my website to look like that. You know, it's badass. It's in the top three, <clears throat> right? So I want 
my website to look like this one? What do I need to do? And they're in the top three for a reason. And then if I wanted to, I go to their site map and I go, okay, how many pages does their website have? How many blogs does their website have? What's their URL structure look like? You know, everything like I do, you know, if I want this website to start ranking in the top three, I'm going to have to find someone to model, which is you break it, I fix, and duplicate what they're doing, right? If I look at this website versus this website, which one do you think I'm going to choose? I'm going to wind up going with this website just because it pops out to me as much more professional. And so what I'm going to advise you to do is start with a website build, build out the content, um, you, when I say content, think of repair services like cell phone repair services, PS4, PS5, all the different things you do all need their own pages, right? Not just um, one single page. You want a page for every single thing you do, all right? Tablets, laptops, desktops, gaming systems, all need their own pages, then blogs about them, press releases about them. That's after we actually have a website. We do the website first, get it done, it's professional. Then we come back over and do the SEO. Now the SEO, if you go to the home page, you know, it's based upon the population. So if we go to Cincinnati, <coughs> excuse me, and go, let's say, what's the Cincinnati Ohio population, it's only 301, so I know it's not that competitive. <coughs> I know it's going to be $487. It takes me three months, and I get you ranked in the first spot, you know, first three spots of Google. Now, this is the worst part. <coughs> what your geo map or geo grid looks like, you're ranking in the top 14. That's okay but you're not in the top 10. So that tells me I need about three to four months worth of pushing to get you to have your geo grid from red to green, green being in the top three. Then once you're in the top three for two and a half miles, which is what this radius covers, I go to five miles, then 10 miles, then further as you want. And uh, each time takes a little bit more time, but that's the ultimate goal. This uh, spreadsheet, this PDF will show you exactly who's ranking one, how many data points they have, what's their average ranking position. Average ranking position is seen right here in this column. Where's your way down here, okay? <coughs> but what we wanna do is look at three different sites, find one you like, say, hey, Bill, I like this site, here's why we build you a site, and then we get it ranking. Once again, my name is William. If you have any questions, comment below. If you would like my standard operating procedure spreadsheet on ranking locally, comment below. Or if you'd like me to audit your website, comment below. I'm going to send this video over to you along with your audit sheets. If you have any questions or want me to implement it for you, just let me know. Have a great day. I have so many SEOs that hate me and say that I'm still in their methods They bitching and cry, labeling me SEO black cat was a nobody, now I'm at the top Most wanted, most love, bad business owners And hated by most SEO opponents You think you're an SEO god, but you're an SEO fraud Guess I'm the SEO devil, shout fuck the SEO guys White hat SEO doesn't make sense